Yeah, the other thing I wanted to ask you is about uh, interfacing uh, humans and uh, machines. I mean, DARPA has been interested in these uh, brain-machine interfaces since the 70s, and now we have Elon Musk trying to achieve this with the Neuralink. So is the way humans acquire and uh, output information a bottleneck in uh, warfare? Or maybe just this is, this is not a problem. I mean, what do you think? Well, so so I first of all, I, I can't comment too authoritatively about that because that most of that kind of work goes on in another office at DARPA called the Biosystems Technology Office. So I don't I don't have a lot of insight into those specific programs. But you know, I'll come back to that human machine symbiosis problem. I I, I think I, personally, I I I'd, I'd love to have something like that, and I could read faster and get through more material <laughs> more quickly. But uh, there have been a couple of really exciting things that have gone on out of those BTO programs where you know, it's created more fine level control of prosthetics or even okay. people who are quad- quadriplegics being able to you know, be totally paralyzed and bedridden and yet you know, with one of those brain machine interfaces being able to control all kinds of things in the physical world or experience things that they wouldn't normally. All of that is, is I think, a, a very exciting and a big opportunity, but it to me, it doesn't really change the fundamentals in this human-machine symbiosis. It, to me, the, the bigger, uh, at least the more interesting thing from my offices and my personal perspective is, you know, not, not how do we bring the two together more closely through one of those interfaces, but rather how do we understand where it makes sense to, do, to split them apart? Yeah. Where are the natural boundaries for division of labor? And, and that really gets more to what's the type of information you know, what's the, what are ways to control information, you know, dimensionality or, or complexity? Um, and that, that to me is where we're really the more, uh, you know, uh, I'm not saying there's anything wrong at all with the other research, but that, to, to me, the, you know, I guess you got to be in the area, but I find it more exciting to think about this, yeah. this information-centric problem. Thank you for listening to this conversation with Dr. Timothy Grayson. And I'd also like to thank uh, DARPA's communication team for making this possible. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment below, like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell and support this channel on Patreon. This podcast will be also available on Spotify and Apple Podcasts and you can find the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.